hey guys so i'm starting the vlog a little early um this week last week i started on wednesday today i'm starting on a tuesday morning so that's great um slowly i'm gonna get a hang of this but i hope you guys enjoy the previous vlog i woke up not too long ago um i already made my breakfast i don't have breakfast at home like i just make it and i take it to my shop and i eat there when it's about 10 i leave home before 10 and i don't like to eat too early um i used to do intermittent fasting so i kind of got used to it um, so yeah i'm going to get ready for work i'll pick you guys up a little bit later so i have a huge pimple on my the bridge of my nose it just kind of popped up yesterday it's really bothering me it's like a cystic uh acne type of uh breakout and it's really painful uh, i feel like my period is gonna come soon but i usually don't get period pimples here i usually get them around here which is why these come you guys know that i suffer with hormonal acne right so i just got dressed um today's fragrance i feel like i want to go for the ysl libre so i'm gonna just use that I like to put a bit on my scarf. Oh, this is so strong. I'm also going to use a little bit of my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Sweet Mouth. And I feel like I should pop a zit sticker on this. But I don't know. I feel like it doesn't have a mouth yet like the thing that makes a pop and like cystic acne usually it doesn't come become like that i don't know let me just give it like by the end of the day if it doesn't come out i would put a pimple sticker on it i did last night but nothing happened like nothing happened so i'm just going to let it be i guess so i'm done getting ready so i'm just gonna pack up my stuff and get to the shop hey guys so it's been a minute since i've vlogged I actually haven't like tried to vlog because I've just had a lot going on with me but I'm returning to vlogging today. Today is Thursday. I vlogged on Tuesday. I didn't vlog on Wednesday. So I said I was going to put in a little bit more effort into vlogging. Today I have to um, film a video and I was planning content what I was going to film today. I also have to put out some content for my friend's brand so yeah that's what i was doing so i'm not gonna go into work early today because i don't have any early uh bookings i don't i don't have any bookings today actually so i was on instagram this morning and i just saw akai i filmed a video on her channel recently i posted it on my community if you saw it and you watched it thank you she was talking about putting out content and making people aware of certain brands right but they would repurpose her content but not actually pay or like give some sort of appreciation i don't know if i'm articulating this well but anyways it just made me really sad because i'm a huge fan of Ghanaian brands i use a lot of them on my channel i realized this long ago some brands are great they would support you with free products and stuff like that but can you believe a brand i'm not gonna mention the name it's a Ghanaian brand a Ghanaian brand reached out to me and gave me products right when a brand gives you um products in the influencing world it is not by force to use the products post the products but you just do it because it's a form of appreciation right in actual fact if a brand gives you products you're not forced to use it it's pr is a gift so you can choose to use it or not but in ghana here if a brand gives you products you're expected to use it and post content on it so that they get to use it so their cont their the package they gave you was not in fact a gift it was a form of payment i've worked with Ghanaian brands that pay me so back to what i was saying i don't want to go off so this brand um reached out to me sent me products and i used the products right and i have a feeling they didn't even realize that i used their products because they just they just focus on my 
Instagram. They don't focus on my YouTube. In fact, in every tutorial, I use one of their products. Okay, I was on Instagram and I realized that this brand actually paid some Ghanaian content creators to create content because it said paid promotion, right? Paid partnership. And I was like, okay, so this brand actually has a budget to pay people, but it's not paying me. So I lost, I lost them. <laughs> I lost confidence in that brand like I use your product I put it on my channel I list it people ask me about it I tell them about the brand and my channel just doesn't have Ghanaian um, watches I have um, I have views from Nigeria I have views from the US the UK Canada you know I have so I feel like at least one person from somewhere else we see the brand so that's how i see i'm not asking for payments but i feel like if you are able to create a budget to pay other content creators why wouldn't you pay me like it just made me feel really bad and i just lost a lot of confidence in some of the brands there are some brands that are really appreciative even though they've not like paid me physical cash before they would give me free products again some brands will not even be on me to like oh i sent you this why wouldn't you use it they don't do that they just when i buy i buy from some of these brands i always buy from them because i actually do love their products so some of them wouldn't even like ask me are you going to use this when they bring out a new line they send it to me they call me they send it to me wherever i am they send it to me some brands have, have been really supportive but some other brands have just been ugh, i i generally don't like to sit and talk about these things because it's really heartbreaking i've stopped putting so much feeling in that because i'm just i just feel like if people don't appreciate you if some people not people if some people don't appreciate you why do you keep showing up why do you keep putting in the efforts just leave them as is right so, so that's the kind of energy i put towards that so i'm just honestly just doing my thing if i enjoy using something i'll put you guys on it if i don't i wouldn't right there's some Ghanaian brands that are so professional they would send a contract sign the contracts pay you create contents like i've had relations with a beauty brand that does that and i was so impressed i was so happy to be part of that team and they would reach out to you and talk to you and show you appreciation but some brands will not even mind you one brand would actually reach out to me just because I haven't created content and they'll ask me to give content out they didn't pay for that's when I realized they were actually paying another like other content creators to do that and I'm happy that those content creators are making money off it because they deserve it like they work so hard but why wouldn't you do the same for me because I'm all I'm also a Ghanaian content creator right so honestly on my channel I just post tutorials because i'm a makeup artist and i love to teach it's something that i love to do and i realize that people enjoy that so i keep putting content out there like that yeah i just wanted to put my feelings out there about this i could relate so much to what akai put out i could relate on so many levels you know
hey guys so i feel like i've been sitting on the floor for most of this video but i have to go out i'm not gonna go to the shop today my girl is there she can probably attend to someone who comes in to do hair or something but i want to go and make my lunch and i have to go to fedex to grab some things and i am really not in the mood to drive and it's really really hot so i'm gonna call um a keke driver um i have his number he's pretty good most of them out here are just like really 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 chaotic and very reckless on the road but he seems like very reasonable so i'm gonna call him because i honestly don't feel like driving and updates on the video that i filmed you saw me filming i didn't like it i just feel like the makeup ended up looking really weird and it wasn't like any complex makeup i just didn't like it so i don't think i'm gonna like even put it up i'm not gonna edit it i'm not gonna do anything about it i'll just film another video on another day and i'm just feeling some way like i feel like my period is about to come and it's just i just get really i just feel a particular way when i don't know why and yeah so i'm gonna call the keke driver and go with him to fedex and then um and then yeah i don't know why i just speed off um and then i'll make my gel off and then i'll come back home yeah so i'll pick you up if anything comes up <laughs> guys so i just left home not too long ago and i asked my girl to pick up my package for me so i just let her bring it home a little later because it's almost three and i still haven't eaten anything today so like i said i'm going to make jollof rice hopefully i'll be able to um, pick you guys up and just show you my recipe for making jollof
<laughs> oh my god so i just go home and i'm literally excited but well, i've been excited about this package ever since i ordered these things so i've been thinking about changing my style like my style of dressing um i'm not gonna get into that like in this video or talk too much about it but i ordered this outfit because it's been literally trending and i feel like it's so elegant but why tell me why it looks like this on me why does it look like this on me <laughs> oh my god and i ordered it in two colors i got it in a red too because i felt like i i have way too many neutrals in my clothes and way too many florals so i wanted like bold colors and look at how it looks on me <laughs> i literally look like what the actual hell i i don't know if i can do something about these i feel like the sleeves are like way too big i'm so sad about this maybe i can do something about it because the pants the pants the pants look okay yeah, a little bit too long, but I feel like I can, I can manage with it, but I feel like I can manage with it, but wait, let me try on the red one and then see how it goes. Okay. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. <laughs> wait, let me just give you guys perspective okay i hope this is stable hold on okay so the pants look okay i feel like they look okay i love the pants right but the top looks way too big. I don't know if it's supposed to look like this. But it's kind of like a laid back outfit. And I love, I love it. But I just feel like the arms look a little bit weird, right? But the length is okay. I just, I just been obsessed with this type of two piece. And I'm so happy I got it. But I just feel like it looks a little bit too big. Maybe if it's a taken in a little bit i don't know but you guys should tell me how it looks i will insert a picture of the outfits like how i saw the woman or the model wearing it but i'm excited i've been excited about this package the entire week and i've been seeing it everywhere on ig and literally some of them are cheaper but i felt like Usually when these type of outfits come in, they have like the cheaper looking ones and the cheapy materials and the ones. And I'm really, really happy about this fabric because it's like very relaxed and the quality is great. But I'm not happy about how the top looks on me. But the pants look okay. So I'll see what I can do about the top. I'll see what I can do about the top. Let me show you the other outfit that I got this is giving lab coats it's giving lab technician it's giving doctor i don't know how i feel about this but let me see let me see let me see let me see mm, it's actually not that bad looking it's not that bad but i don't like the fact that um, this whole part doesn't have any buttons because of course I wouldn't want to go out with my thighs showing So maybe I'd get it uh, closed up um, But I don't know how I feel about this. I just wanted something Elegant But if I style it you guys would see <laughs> But I love it, but it's giving it's lucky giving love technician, right? I don't know <laughs> I don't know 
but this was bought on a whim i didn't plan on buying this but i just thought it looked nice because i have nothing like this right i've been trying to change my style i just feel like my style is too lectures uni something and i need to grow up with the kind of clothes i wear right so i feel like i like this this looks okay plus the fabric looks great so that's a win-win so i just got home not too long ago i'm going to shower and i need to get into bed because i have to wake up super early tomorrow so i'll pick you guys up like hi why are you in my room come here Baby. hey guys good morning i look crazy because i have sunscreen on and my face is a little casty but today i have a few things to do before i go to the shop and after i close so i'm just i'm um, going to get ready i didn't get any sleep i slept for probably three hours because the rest of the night i was cramping so badly and it wasn't fun okay so i'm trying so i like i said i have put some sunblock on so i'm just going to quickly do my um a quick natural looking routine I have my mirror down here so also I look crazy I'm laying my edges so I'm just um, going to apply my Fenty Beauty mattifying foundation oh oh my god this is so messy my Fenty Beauty mattifying primer I love this primer and it just goes with everything i'm gonna put on my face it feels so good on my skin I, I really love this primer it just looks so good on my skin so i'm going to let that sit for a bit and just chat with you guys so um I've been feeling like makeup tutorials don't do very well lately. You guys should tell me how you feel about it. I personally, I'm not going to stop putting out tutorials. I'm just going to add a little bit more content to my channel, like vlogs, like I'm vlogging now. And I'm going to do something else I'm passionate about, which is body care and skin care. I used to do a lot of those, but I used to get a lot of negative comments and, um, I feel like everybody knows a little bit more about skincare these days so they're a little bit more kind um but yeah even though i was getting negative comments i wasn't like move right or anything i'm gonna use my fenty beauty is this even gonna focus my fenty beauty skin tint um i'm just going to apply it here Just a little bit honestly not a lot at all and i always like to blend it into uh, my skin with my fingers always have like makeup wipes with you like if you are using your fingers to blend this thing because it can get messy very quickly I feel like my fingers just gave me the most natural looking tint and I honestly just do this within like five minutes because I don't have time to contour and highlight and bronze and stuff like that and as you can <clears throat> that was weird I sounded like I was possessed anyways um as you can see I hardly wear makeup like every day because i don't know i just hardly wear makeup but as you can see it just looks really really natural i honestly just put this on to hide my sunscreen just to give me a little bit of color because my sunscreen is hella casty and look at my hands like 
look at the difference and i always have a wipe by me which i just cleaned my hand i know i can just avoid this by using a brush but i like the way it looks on my skin when i use my fingers so i always have wipes by me to clean up of course so yeah Oops. i need to clean everything so well I'm drinking spearmint tea it just really helps with crumbs for me i'm not someone who likes to take pills when i get crumbs just because i just don't like it so what i'm gonna do now is to um use a little bit of oh my god this is so messy <laughs> my sasha buttercup setting powder and i just you know um apply it around under my eyes and you know the most oily parts of my face just around here and then that's about it that's all of the powder i'm gonna be using oh this is so messy oh, no okay so and then i'm going to go in with my a mix of my Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation and my MAC Studio Fix Powder because my MAC Studio Fix Powder is light and my Fenty Beauty is warm. So I just mix the two. I just go in like this and like this and I just apply it onto my skin. I'm done with these. What I like to do next is just go in with my brow products. Um, I just like to fill in the ends of my brows with my brow pencil. So that's about it, just the ends and then I go in with my brow tint. This one is from Beth Main. Lightly, it's very, very pigmented, so you need to be very light-handed with this. I just scrape off everything from the wand and then lightly go over my brows. Okay. And then I go back in with my spoolie and just blend it in. I also like to clean up the top. Like so. And then I'm gonna go in with some mascara. And finally, some lip gloss from Fenty. This is in the shade Sweet Mouth. I honestly just carry this and my Fenty Beauty powder with me on my way out. So I just touch up whenever I can. And that's about it for what I do. So this is what I end up looking like very natural it looks like i have nothing going on on my skin just just i have flawless skin so when i wear my sunscreen and it looks casty sometimes i honestly don't care about looking casty i just go and my mom is like why is your face gray and i'm like sunscreen and she goes like why don't you change your sunscreen i'm like this is the only one that works for me because elta md is literally literally the only sunscreen that works for me every other sunscreen would just break me out or just give me hives or just burn my skin off so 
I'm stuck with it. But this is what it looks like. It's really, really natural. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get in the car in the natural light so you guys can see. So let me just quickly rush off because it's 9 and I have to go to the bank. I have to meet up a client at 11 and I need to eat because when I'm on my period, I am low energy type and i crave sweets and if i do not eat properly and i end up eating sweets it's not the best thing so i need to eat very early i have to eat at least four times today even though i regularly eat two times a day but when i'm on my period i have to eat three times or four times a day so let me just quickly get ready so for today's fragrance i'm gonna be using my ysl oh i literally just sprayed it on my face okay so i am good i'm gonna head out now hey guys so i just got back to my shop i was able to do all my rounds before 11 it's just before 11 and i have um, some clients coming in at 11 if they are punctual that is so i'm just going to eat because they are not here yet i have to eat fast so that they wouldn't like come and meet me because one thing I don't like is like eating and like a random person just walks in it's weird I just like to eat so I have enough energy plus I didn't sleep so I'm beginning to feel the effects of not sleeping I have a slight headache and it's just really annoying plus I'm cramping so it's not the best well that was not the best angle anyways um as you can see you see the makeup is like really really light i'm looking really tired of these braids they are really heavy and i honestly don't know why i went to get them they're so heavy i like them for a while and even though they still look nice like these braids look nicer when they are getting older right i'm tired like i just i feel like it's because i'm on my period i feel like it's so heavy and i don't want anything on my head and i don't know I just feel really weird anyways if anything pops up um i will let you guys know if i have any updates i'll let you guys know so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video if you're enjoying it so far this is gonna be a really long vlog because I, I think i have so much content still coming up um because over this weekend it's gonna be a little bit busy hopefully i remember to pick up and keep vlogging but yeah i will talk to you guys soon Hey guys, I am dressed in a bummy attire because yesterday I had a really long day. I was literally fighting for my life, cramps, and I had to like do two clients, like beat them up, like beat their faces, not like beat them up. What have I been saying? So I just got to work not too long ago. If you hear any noise, it's National Geographic Channel, the wild one, National Wild. Um, we are obsessed with that in this shop. I'm just setting up quickly because I want to film some content for my channel. So...
Hey guys, so I'm balancing this thing on a chair, but yesterday I didn't actually vlog a lot because I was dying from cramps. But today I have like quite a busy day. It's a Sunday. I don't usually work on Sundays because that's when I get to film my content for YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. But I have a few clients. There was a few late bookings and there was like a booking up I had like way before so i had to come in around seven like six thirty seven because my clients are supposed to come in at seven and she's not here yet and i have like a very packed day so this is what it's like it's very annoying basically because i have other clients and then one client choose, chooses to be late so it means it beats up everybody and i am like struggling and working under pressure so i feel like maybe i might just call the other clients and tell her not to come i don't know what to do working and the work ethic here is kind of different from what i'm used to i'll get into that in another video but it's just some way but however i am grateful that you know i'm getting clients and stuff like that because it's not everywhere that people get clients right so my girl is just like putting their place in putting their place in order and we're just waiting for them to come so yeah um hopefully i'll be able to pick you guys up today is sunday this is going to be the last day of the vlog i hope you guys are enjoying it so far so yeah hey guys so it's finally the end of sunday i've been waiting for the end of today to come so i could like just come back home i've had like a really long day but a really really productive day like i'm super grateful um i had a little bit of a hiccup i don't know if i would like insert it in the vlog but yeah it was all okay it all worked out even though it was a little bit annoying in the beginning but it all worked out i got home not too long ago probably 30 minutes ago i got some mangoes one advantage about staying here in tamale is that mangoes are always in season like the big mangoes like not always but most of the time so i get to eat them i love mangoes so i just bought a few i just cut up um some of it and then i ate it i did eat the whole day until about four 4 p.m and i've been up since 5 30 a.m and i've just been working back to back to back to back so i had a, a booking um, which was pushed to a later time and that was the booking that woke me up early and then i went to do my second booking which was great and i found out that i was related to the person i was i was going to do like the makeup for which was which was kind of cute um and i had to go back to the shop to attend to a few clients as well and when i thought i was done another client walked in and she's like oh she needed like a a root touch up and like a relaxer so i had to do that too which was just so much work for me i was just tired and but she really wanted to get it because she was like um she's a student and she wouldn't have time during the week so i just did that for her and i i ordered food i, I had to order food and i got um some spaghetti and meatballs something which was really nice i don't know if it was because i was hungry but i really enjoyed it it was so good anyways um so yeah i just go home i am going to take a shower because i need to take a shower like i've had like a really long day and i can't wait to get into bed uh before i go home i stopped by just to re-up on some of my favorite things let me just show you real quick this this um body wash this is from ole it's the retinol nighttime body wash i found it oh my bathroom hold on okay so like i was saying i found it cheaper at a shop um like a random shop and they have a lot of stuff um like beauty supply stuff it's like a 
it's like a filling station but there's a shop there and then i found it cheaper so i got it from there on instagram it's like 85 cds or 80 cds but i got it for 68 cds at that shop so tell me why i shouldn't be buying from there <laughs> I literally every time I go there and I see it, I just pick two. I just pick two because I never want to run out of this stuff. I also got like mouthwash and I got this. I've already used this. I also when I go home, I wash my makeup brushes because they were so much. I used a lot of brushes today. I have like six sets of brushes, like how do I even explain it for my clients? So I have maybe six sets of six powder brushes and six foundation okay actually i have more than six foundation brushes i have six concealer brushes six eyebrow brushes six of this six of that so like if i happen to have six clients i will use all the six sets because i don't want to repeat brushes on people so today i did four people four people so i had four sets of brushes to wash which was a lot so this is why i used to wash my brush just dish soap because every other soap i literally got the dove soap every other soap i use doesn't wash my brush well so i had to get this one i just dilute it in like a bit of warm water and then i washed it but it just melts off all the oils and stuff you know foundation sometimes has oil so it just melts everything off and everything is nice and clean so yeah i'm going to take my shower and i'm currently exporting some of the vlog footage from my phone onto my laptop and i'm also watching another vlog from someone else i really like watching vlogs that's why i'm vlogging these days so yeah i'm going to shower and i'll pick you guys up a little bit later hopefully but if not this is probably going to be the end of this week's vlog i hope you enjoyed it i hope i have the energy to keep vlogging for you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>